Drummers are everywhere, living amongst us, blending in to the general population. But they are different. They have their own habits, their own tools, and their own special form of communication. They do not speak the regular language of musicians. We can help to teach you how to speak drummer. In this introductory lesson, we begin first with their basic equipment. Knowing these terms is essential for attempts at verbal communication in English. A drummer plays a drum set, or kit. These come in various shapes, sizes, colors, and configurations. However, they all share some key components. The bass drum, or kick as it's commonly referred to, is the largest drum and is played by using your foot to push down the lever system known as the pedal. The snare drum has metal pieces of wire on the bottom that can be engaged or disengaged by a lever on the side of the drum, giving it a sound that is different from all the other drums. Next are the toms. Drum sets may include many toms or just a few. The larger the drum, the lower the note it makes. Toms with metal legs are referred to as floor toms, although the term is also applied to the lowest sounding tom even if there are no legs. And don't forget the cymbals. Made from various combinations of metal, cymbals add high pitch reverberation. There are three main types of cymbals. First is the hi-hat, two cymbals placed on top of each other controlled by a foot pedal. The second are crash cymbals, played in single hits. And lastly, the ride cymbal, used frequently in rhythmic continuation. Basic verbal communication with a drummer is done by naming the element of the drum set. Practice these phrases. On verse 1, just give me the kick. Johnny plays the ride cymbal on the chorus. Advanced verbal communication involves naming the element of the drum set you want played, spoken in the rhythm you desire. Practice these phrases. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Tom, 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 snare, crash. Tom, 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 snare, crash. Tom, tom, snare. Tom, tom, snare. Tom, tom, snare, tom, tom, snare. Expert verbal communication is done by colloquial phrases such as four on the floor, resulting in the drummer playing four beats per measure on the kick drum. Swell. A crescendo played on the cymbals. Dance on the hats. Sixteenths on the hats. Eighths on the hats. Or build on the toms. Go ahead and practice these yourself. The language of drummers does not often use a known language, but prefers to use prehistoric grunts and guttural noises. Using onomatopoeia, we can speak drummer without our English. Listen to this demonstration and its interpretation. Boom ta boom ta boom da 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 psh. Da 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 Local dialects also include such words as boots pants, cats, and dish. Using applications such as GarageBand will help you familiarize yourself with the names of the drums and their corresponding sounds. Effective communication with a drummer, however, does not have to be verbal. Through their own brand of sign language, instruction can be given by imitating the motions of playing the element of the drum you would like your drummer to play. Symbols are up high, with the ride on your right. Snare is done with your left hand. Crossing your hands indicates playing the hi-hat and snare. Toms are played lower than the cymbals. One tom right after another, or here, building on the toms and snare. Opening or closing the hi-hat is done with your hand like so. Open closed. Communication with your foot often goes unnoticed or is impossible to see. 
Therefore, it is replaced by making a fist and moving away from your body to indicate when to play the kick drum. Desired volume is indicated by the velocity and range of the motions. Loud playing. Notice the flailing of the arms. Quiet playing. Hunching over is not required, but it is encouraged. Observe the following demonstration. Hmm. Notice that the signals must be given before the desired result can be obtained. And once you have the desired result, you can stop giving signals. The drummer will continue. The most effective boom, communication boom, boom, involves the combination boom, of visual ta, and boom, verbal ta, direction. We here hope you have enjoyed learning how to speak drummer. And remember, drummers aren't out-of-control monsters. They're monsters you can talk to and play with.